Many schools in Hennepin County collect organics to be composted. It is important to sort organics correctly to keep materials that do not break down out of the compost. Today, we'll review how organics become compost, what is and is not compostable, and why composting is important. Organics recycling is a great way to give back to the earth. Food scraps and compostable paper, like napkins, are collected at school, picked up by a truck, and taken to a compost site. At the compost site, yard waste, like leaves and tree branches, are mixed together with the food scraps. This mixture is laid out in long piles that are 10 feet tall. That's as high as a basketball hoop. In less than a year, the pile breaks down into a material called compost which looks like dirt, but has a lot of nutrients to give back to the soil. Organics recycling is important because it gets our food waste out of the trash and puts it to better use. We can use compost to improve our soil and grow a healthy garden. Collecting organics creates a closed loop where nothing goes to waste. But we need to be mindful about what we put in the organics bin. All food, including your peanut butter and jelly sandwich, apple core, and leftover vegetables can go in the organic bin. Even your cheese pizza crust can be composted. You can also put napkins in the organics at most schools. If you're not sure if something is compostable, ask someone or put it in the trash. Plastic forks, plastic bags, ketchup packets, chip bags, and milk cartons should not go in the organics. Items like plastic and foil don't break down and they are hard to sort out of the pile of compost. Would you want compost that looks like this in your garden? Ew. You can help make sure the school's organics turns into great compost that can be used to grow more plants. Thank you for helping to protect the earth by composting your organics.